floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian, I'm blind, I'm a disaster survivor, and I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. At Home Emergency Kit. Since the COVID-19 pandemic began, we've all learned what it means to be stuck at home. But ask yourself, do you have all the essentials you'd need if you were required to shelter in place? It's particularly important to be prepared as a blind or partially sighted person so that you're not feeling around looking for things in an emergency. Be sure to build your at-home kit in advance. This kit brings together everything you need to survive while sheltering in place after a disaster. The at-home kit will help you be ready for power outages, earthquakes, extreme weather, and yes, even a pandemic. For this, we're building on the Grab and Go kit to create an additional kit for sheltering at home. Be sure to watch the Grab and Go kit video in this series, then add these extra essentials that you'll need. Make sure you have enough food and water for between three and seven days. Include four liters of water per person per day for food and hygiene. Safety supplies should include masks, disinfectant wipes, hand sanitizer, and sterile gloves. Include garbage bags to keep waste separate and to help keep your space clean. To keep your gear and devices powered up, consider adding a solar generator pack and a solar panel. Choose an inverter if one isn't built in. You should refresh your food and water supplies every six months. Do this as you move your clocks forward and back with daylight saving time, or the spring and fall equinox, just like when you replace the batteries in your smoke detector. Ensure your food is shelf stable, ready to eat, and that you include any preparation equipment you might need, like manual can openers, camping cutlery, dishware, and camp stoves. But do remember, don't use your camp stove indoors. Carbon dioxide can build up fast and it can be dangerous. Think of specific needs for service animals and pets. Extra food, water, animal waste bags, medication, and towels. And don't forget, have four liters of water per day per dog and one liter per day per cat. There are accessibility apps like TapTapSee and VoiceDream that can help you identify objects and read text, like expiry dates, just by taking a photo. Finally, make sure that your home kit is located somewhere accessible during anticipated emergencies. If an earthquake leads to structural damage, you'll want to know that it's not in an area that could be flooded or cut off. All emergency kits need to reflect your personal needs and preferences. Store-bought kits are convenient, but it's better to build your own kit or customize the purchased kit. So that's your home kit. Now what can you put in your grab and go kit and how else can you prepare for emergencies? Watch the complete AMI emergency series at ami.ca, on the AMI TV app and on the AMI YouTube channel.